Hello students, so this video we are going to see a hexagonal pyramid with isometric projection. Next, it, since this is given as a hexagonal, so hexagon means at the base it has six sides and it is a pyramid. So whenever it is a pyramid means you will end as a apex and base will be the hexagon in shape. The base side 30 mm and axis height 60 mm rest on its base on HP. Okay, next with two of its base edges are perpendicular to VP. That is very, very important. Two of the base edges. So here the opposite edges will be parallel for a hexagon at the base. So it is cut by a plane perpendicular to VP and inclined at 25 degree to HP and meeting the axis 25 mm above the base. So above the base, it is meeting 25 mm. For this, we need to draw the isometric view. So here, it is at this two of the sides are perpendicular like this. So here we can fix the points like this. So these two sides are perpendicular to VP. Now, since this is a pyramid, so here we can find the apex point. Now this will be the solid for you. Here you can give all the names. Now it is at us from the base 25 mm it is crossing like this. This is a sectioning plane. Here you can give the name 1, 2, 3. Again 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash. So here also the same way. Here we don't have any horizontal line. So we need to find the for, draw the horizontal line and keeping this distance as radius, draw the arc like this. Next, you can find the true length here. Next. And just finding out the sectioning area here. So this will be 6, this will be 1, and this will be 3, and this will be 4, then 2 and 5 I need to find. So it will be false on here and here. Now I am just drawing the horizontal line to here. And then from here I will be drawing here. Now on both the sides I can draw like this. So this is 5 and this is 2. Now I can join everything 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now this is the pentagon, hexagon. Now I can fix it in a box. Here also I can give the name P, Q, R, S. In the previous problem we have took R as the value base point. Here we can take Q. This is the shortest height area in the front view. So here I am just taking Q here. Next 30 degree, 30 degree, next from here I am just marking after the Q R is there by using your compass mark it at here then before the Q P is available measure the distance and mark it here this is P and with the same way I can just marking like this. Now I am going to find all the midpoints this is P Q R yes uh, this is R this is yes. In between P and Q, this point is available. So at the middle, next here, middle, yeah. Okay, now all the base points we got it. Next, in between, inside points, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like the same way, the, we can measure this X value and this Y value. Both the thing, we can measure it. And here it will false. Next, so here, this is at the 2 itself. So here this point, this is 2 and this is 5 we got. So this is 2. And next, here in the same 6 itself, here is at here. From the, this, this point is 6. And now we can find this one. Here, it is at this distance. This is 3 and this is 4. Now we got all the points. Draw all the vertical lines. Now measure the height from each and everywhere. You can mark it like this. You can join all the projection. Now you can find the hexagonal pyramid isometric projection of this. So we can go to the diagram now. This is a rough one. Now I am just drawing the XY line like this. Now I need to draw the perpendicular lines since I don't have any drafter so I am doing like this to find out the perpendicular lines so here 
I need to mark a 30 mm. Here I will measure 30 mm here. Then by using your engineering template, the 30 mm side is here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And also the midpoint. I just mark everything. Now I am going to join it. So this is O, A, B, C, D, E, F. Now I am joining, finding all the projection lines. So here the height, total height is 60 mm for this. I run like this. Next, like this way. Now I am joining the edges. So here this is O dash, A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash within bracket and E dash within bracket and F dash within bracket. Now from the base 25 mm. From the base 25 mm I'm just drawing a small locus and from here I'm just taking 25 degree twenty five degree here just I'm going to mark this is one dash two dash 3 dash again 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash so already I told in between O and A this one is falling in between O and F the 6 is falling in between O and E B this 2 is falling in between O and E this 5 is falling in between O and C this 3 and in between O and D this 4 is falling so this is our calculation now I am just drawing the sectioning point projections like this. One, six. This is three and this is four. So remaining two and five we need to find. So for that I can draw the horizontal line from here now taking your compass keeping making this distance as radius I'm just marking it here now now I'm joining these two next making this distance as radius and this O as the center I'm just making the arc on both the sides on both the sides I'm making now this point is 2 and this point is 5 we got both the points now we can join all the numbers
so this is a way of doing it next i'm just going to fix it in a box the box will be Next, P, Q, R, S. Yes. Next, the baseline. So already we discussed. I'm going to take the Q as the baseline, base point. Next, by using the protractor, I am taking 30 degree on both the sides. For all the problem, we need to take only 30 degree. Next, by using your compass, after the Q, R is available. Measure this distance and you can mark it. This is R. And from here, sorry, and before the Q, we are having the point P. And from here also the parallel line will be here now measure the distance draw another one parallel line to here with the same measurement of qr i am marking it here this is qr yes and this is p now i will join these two points now we got it Next, by using the same compass, between P and Q, the B is available. Between P and Q, B is available. As like, this between Q and, uh, sorry, R and S, this E is available. We found. Next, this distance will be equal to all the corners. Between Q and R. This distance will be equal from all the corners. So gently you can mark it. So for drawing a hexagon, this is the easiest way. Next, we can give the name. Between P and Q, we are having point B. Then C, D, E, F. Again, this is A. We got all the six points here. Now we need to find the in-between points. So look at here, the in-between points, the 3 and 4 is lying in the same y-axis. Y y axis. Here this also lying, 1 and 6 is lying on same y-axis, this 2 and 5 is lying on same y-axis. So this will be very easy for you to find it. Now measure this distance, P and Q. In between P and, in between P and Q, here in between P and Q, we can measure this distance. This is a way. Next, in between Q and sorry, R and S, we can measure this value. R and S, we can measure this value. Now I can easily draw the parallel line to it. Draw a thin line from through here also. Then from here also I can draw the thin lines. So that I can easily identify those points. Next, from P and Q as the base point, baseline, I am measuring the point 1. From P and Q, the baseline, I am measuring the point, this is 1. Next, for point 2, from B, from P and Q as the baseline, I am just measuring this one. This is point 2. Then from Q and R, sorry, from P and Q as the baseline, I am measuring the point Q here, 3 here. This is point 3. We got it. Next, from here, I can measure it. This distance from R and S as the base, from R and S as the base, 
I'll measure it here from E I'll measure this point next from R and S I will measure the point 6 here so now I can mark it this is 4 5 and this is 6 so we got all the 6 points now we can draw the perpendicular lines from here by drawing the perpendicular lines first from 1 then by 1 by 1 we can draw the perpendicular line so all the Five, six points we draw the perpendicular line now the simple thing is we need to measure the height one and six are both are same height one and six both are same height where the one this is one one six is this is six both are same height next two and five both are same height two five both are same height next three and four both are same height 3 and 4 now we can mark it so already I told this is 1 1 you can mark it as 1 1 6 1 so you can avoid the confusion so this will be 1 and this will be 6 and this will be 5 and this will be 4 and this will be 3 and this will be 2 now we need to join all the points here uh, 6 and 5 here then 5 and 4 then 3 and 4 again 2 and 3 again 1 and 2 now 1 and 6 I can join it now 1 and A 1 and A and 2 and B here we are going to join all the points this is 1 and A 2 and B then 3 and C then 4 and D again 5 and E here I can join all the points then you can find out the visible lines next this A and F is not visible so it will be the dash line and F and E is also not visible this will be the dash line then F and 6 okay now we can also hatch this so this is a way of doing it so here also we can mark the dimensioning Thirty, and here it is this is 25 60 25 this is 25 degree so we got all of it now this is a way of doing it the problem so here also you can write the all the diamond